Hey everyone, Tim Boris from Fresh Fitness here. So I'm just going to talk to you about kettlebells today, about the different sizes and shapes and styles of kettlebells. So what most people are probably familiar with is the different size kettlebells. So the traditional, not the traditional, the, the most typical ones you're going to see in, in, in stores, uh, most gyms are going to be what we call the, the scattered kettlebells. Each weight is a different size. So the lighter ones are smaller. This is 4 kilos, 8.8 pounds. This is an 8 kilo one. We have a 12 kilo here. 16 kilos a little bit bigger. And uh, up over on this side here, we've got uh, 20, 32, 24 kilos. So again, each time the weight gets, the weight increases, the kettlebell gets a little bit bigger. Not a huge deal for a lot of things, but if you're using them a lot, it's, you, when you when the, use the same size kettlebell, you get to feel where it lands on your forearm and uh, just the overall feel of the, the kettlebell. The pro style kettlebells, uh, so these are made in the, the regular ones are made in cast iron, and uh, the pro style ones are made in the stainless steel. The steel, and uh, they're all the same size regardless of the weight. These are color coded. So these, on the regular ones, the colors mean nothing. Within a certain brand, they might mean a thing, but on the on the pro style, pink one is eight. The light blue is ten kilos. This darker blue is twelve. Then you've got uh, the yellow is sixteen. Purple is 20, and uh, this green one back here is a 24, and they need the more colors above that. Key thing is, these have a nice, nice uh, stainless uh, grip, much smoother. The grip on these ones also changes in width as well. These are all standard. They tend to sit nicer on the arm, and uh, they're just, uh, I find them much nicer. Much nicer to use. So the key thing is, it doesn't matter what one you're using, as long as you're using the right technique. But as you start using kettlebells more and more, you'll find gravity to a certain style, and you'll get a feel for the kettlebells that you like using. Some of them have uh, this one has a rubber coating on it, which is quite nice. It actually has a rubber bottom. Uh, some of these uh, old style ones, the paint chips off. You can see all the marks on this one after they've been hit a few times. Uh, sometimes the paint flex off. So generally the cheaper ones are not as good quality, they're not made as well, they're not as smooth, and that's uh, something you get little birds or you catch your hands and things like that. That's one of the reasons I like the pro style. You pay a little bit more for them, but they're fantastic in terms of the usability, uh, the feel, the smoothness of them, and I find it just much nicer to work with, which makes me want to do more exercise, more with, uh, with these guys. 